Welcome to Visitech USA's 3D Learning Environment Professional Development Series. In this segment, we will focus on positioning and setting up the 3D AV Rover. As newer components become available, they will be integrated into the 3D AV Rover. With this in mind, the images you see in this section may or may not match the configuration of your 3D AV Rover. The two handles on the back side of the 3D AV Rover are for easy positioning of the unit. It is important to remember these handles should never be used to lift the 3D AV Rover. With wheel locks released, position the 3D AV Rover on a flat surface in front of the screen or other surface you want to project content onto. Lock the wheels by pushing down on the locking mechanism. On the front bottom right of the 3D AV Rover is a retractable 25 foot power cord. Pull the length of cord out that you need to get to your intended power source. Slightly pulling back on the cord will lock the cord's length in place. Plug in the power cord. The first thing you will want to do is ensure that all powered component parts of your 3D AV Rover are turned on. Turn on your computer using the power button located just below the computer's DVD drive. It will take a little while for your computer to boot up and load all of its preloaded 3D content. Be patient. While the computer goes through its boot up cycle, you can continue to power on other components of the 3D AV Rover. Turn on the sound system using the power button on the right side of the AVR25. A red LED will confirm power is reaching the unit. Turn on your projector using the power button on the projector or on the projector's remote. Once all powered component parts have been turned on, you will need to adjust the image size on your projection surface, focus the projector, Center and align the height of the projected image. Adjust for any keystoning in your image. Project the image of your 3D AV Rover onto your projection surface, which may be a screen or even a blank wall. Pick up the power cord and hold it in your left hand, so the wheels of the 3D AV Rover will not run over it during this adjustment. Unlock the rear wheels and move the 3D AV Rover backwards and forwards until the image fits appropriately onto your desired projection surface. Focus the projector. Pivot the 3D AV Rover right and left to center your image. Fine adjustments to image height are made by adjusting the projector shelf up or down. To adjust the projector shelf up and down firmly grasp the string on the right side of the 3D AV Rover. Unwind the string from around the clam cleat. Pulling the string toward you will raise the projector shelf. Moving the string toward the clam cleat will lower the shelf. Lock the projector shelf in position by pulling the string down into the locking grooves of the clam cleat. Continue wrapping the string at least one complete time around the clam cleat to secure the projector shelf. With your image properly sized and centered, see if your image is too wide at the top or too wide at the bottom by comparison. If one of them is, you will want to use the keystone buttons on top of the projector or on the projector's remote to make these adjustments. Once you have all of your image adjustments made, pick up the power cord and pull the 3D AV Rover away from the projection surface until the image is larger than the screen. Now move the 3D AV Rover back toward the screen until you have your desired image size. This step allows you to make any last fine image adjustments and also positions the rear wheels so you're able to lock them. The final item you need to turn on 
to operate your 3D AV rover is the keyboard. While not all keyboards have an on-off switch, most do. Identify the switch to turn on your keyboard and you are ready to begin. Be aware if your keyboard does not turn on, you may need to replace its batteries. If you wish to project images from your laptop through your 3D AV rover, locate the umbilical cord on top of the 3D AV rover. This cord will allow you to connect audio to your 3D AV rover through a 3.5 millimeter audio cable and video through a VGA cable. Other cable inputs such as DVI and HDMI can be custom ordered for your unit.